Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. And for today's card, as usual, <laughs> I couldn't go with just one, couldn't go with just one color, one stencil, too many to choose from. So I decided to do four because a standard piece of cardstock um, cuts into four A2 pieces. So that's what I did. I cut down a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock into four pieces. And I am using four different honeybee stencils. This first one is one of the polka dots background stencils. That one comes in a set of four different sizes. So I just chose one of the polka dot stencils from that pack. And then I like to use washi tape when I am pretty much always when I'm working with stencils, but I like to tape the washi tape all around the very edge of the cardstock I'm working on when I'm using um, glimmer paste or glitter paste anything like that because it's messy <laughs> and it just kind of helps keeping it from getting like all over the very edges of the cardstock and my work surface etc so I like to butt that washi tape like right up to the very edge of the cardstock so that's what I did and then for my first one I'm using seaweed quartz glimmer paste from Nouveau and just applying a nice thin even layer and my mo again with glitter paste is as soon as I'm done applying it scrape the excess back in the container, wipe off my palette knife immediately, remove the wash tape, take the stencil, clean it because glitter paste dries really quickly, or at least this Nouveau paste does. And I like to clean off my stencils immediately. You probably have a dish with water. I know some people do that and set it in there, especially if you're doing something like this, but I just take it to the sink and scrub it. Like just try and get as much of it off as possible. So I'm gonna go on and do all the other backgrounds using different stencils and different glimmer paste because I was curious about how all these would look on black cardstock and like I said I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use more so I used them all. Um, so for this one I'm using the uh, geometric background with plum spinel is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Uh, glitter Glimmer paste and oh, it's always a fun too. like once you remove the tape then remove the stencil and it's like oh yes <laughs> this is gorgeous. So I did that one. And then for this one, I'm using the Chevron Arrows background stencil with sapphire blue uh, glimmer paste. And same thing, just making sure to get it, you know, as even as possible, get that lid back on the container, wipe off the palette knife, remove the washi tape, take the stencil to the sink, clean it, come back to do the next one. And I just keep setting aside each of these backgrounds to dry in the process. So for my last one, I've run out of that washi tape which considering how long um, I've been using it, like a roll of washi tape lasts me forever. So now I'm using this stuff and I used one of the Hexi Patterns stencil. This one is another one that comes in a pack of four different stencils. And I used Amethyst Purple Glimmer Paste on that. So I applied it, removed the stencil, washed all my stencils, set these aside to dry. These honestly didn't take very long at all, like less than an hour in my climate anyway, which is fairly dry. Um, you could totally leave them overnight, but they don't take that long at all. Maybe if you're in a more humid climate, it might take a while, but they dry pretty quickly. So I set them aside though, let them dry while those were actually drying. Um, I am going to do my sentiments. Decided to keep them simple since I am doing four cards. If I was only doing one, I would use the coordinating wafer die for this. This is the Because stamp set from Honeybee. And there is a wafer die with like the word and the outline and the dotted outline, etc. And you know, I would die cut it from foil cardstock and stack them together, etc. Um, that would look fabulous. But since I was doing four, I wasn't just, I just wasn't in the mood to do a ton of die cutting for sentiments. So to save some time, I'm using just the, the um, Because stamp set. And I lined it up on an acrylic block. I just did my first one first. I just wanted to see how it looked. I stamped it onto vellum with some ink on three juicy clear embossing ink. And then I'm heat embossing this with Nouveau's just classic gold embossing powder. So, and off camera, I like held it up to the background because I just wasn't sure if I wanted to go with, you know, the gold route. But I really liked how that looked. So once I was happy with it, now I can kind of mass produce and stamp this three more times onto that vellum. This is where having like a grid mat is really nice, especially working on vellum because you can see right through it. So that way I can make sure they're kind of spaced far enough apart everything straight, etc. So stamp them all, coated them with that embossing powder, melted it with my heat tool. Then I can funnel that embossing powder back into the container. And I set that aside. And then with some black cardstock, I'm just using the remaining sentiments in this little set. 
Now, I rave about honeybees sentiment sets all the time. I will always rave about them because they're just fabulous. Even a small set like this, I got four, there's four different sentiments in it. So you can use them to like mix and match on the front of your card, the inside of your card, etc. So I just stamped all four sentiments onto some black cardstock and did the exact same thing. Anti-static powder tool, stamp the sentiments, coating it with that same um, classic gold embossing powder, melting with my heat tool. And both these sentiments and the ones I did in the vellum, I'm die cutting with dies from Honeybee's Banner Builder Wafer Die Set. Because again, convenience. I don't mind doing die cutting like this one. It's just this, die cutting these w is more quicker than me trying to line everything up perfectly straight so that I could cut it with my paper trimmer and get, you know, perfectly straight. Oy, the amount of time that used to go in, I used to put in behind the scenes to get all my sentiments stamped straight or to cut them straight was insane. So now with all these companies coming out with these great little like banner dies or sentiment dies, like just the straight little rectangles that seem so simple, they're amazing and I love them. <laughs> so after I have everything die cut, I'm just wrapping the vellum around these backgrounds and taping it with that washi tape just to the back because you're not going to see the tape with anything that I use glitter type paste on I like to either have to use a liquid adhesive to adhere over it or I like to like you know wrap vellum etc because glitter paste can be a little bit tricky to adhere things to and for it to actually stay in place so to always ensure that I just like to wrap the vellum right around adhere it down and then I just glued these backgrounds to card bases I trim them down off camera to be slightly smaller than an A2 card front. Then that gave me, you know, the space to wrap the vellum around, etc. And then for the inside sentiments, same thing. I just adhered them with some craft tacky glue to the insides of the cards. And then I would just flip them over and trim off the little bits hanging off the edges with my scissors. And always doing everything at the same time. Like this is my typical kind of mass production method. I did all the backgrounds at the same time. I did all the stamping and heat embossing at the same time. I'm doing all the assembling at the same time. That way it just, you know, one process after the other makes it much more streamlined and just much easier to do more cards in less time. So after I had all of my um, sentiments and everything adhered, I wanted to add just a little bit more bling because why not? And also just to kind of add to that gold with the sentiment so it's not just out of place, if that makes sense. So I pulled out some gold jewels from my stash and sprinkled them rather liberally on these cards because again, why not? <laughs> and I just thought the gold looked really nice with like the black background and the glimmer paste. It just played so nicely together. So I sprinkled those throughout the cards and adhered them into place with just dabs of that craft tacky glue and then um, picking them up with my little jewel picker. So pick it up, put down a little dab of that glue, press the jewel into place, and then just let them sit to dry for a bit. And then once they are completely dry, they are good to go. So as always, I will have a link below the video to the blog post. I'll have the supply list with links to everything. You can check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.